All right, in this video, we are going to look at how to take this slideshow, extract a color from each image, and have your colors be extracted to a certain bar. And as you can see down here, the bar is changing based on an extracted color from here. And I'm gonna show you a few other perks that you can adjust things right inside of your home screen without going back into KOWP. So let's go ahead and have a look. Uh, make sure you've watched this video here where I went over the uh, code to change something based on seconds. And let's go ahead and have a look. So going into KLWP, if we go over to Globals, um, there's three Globals I have here. Uh, images, and basically that Images is what I had in the last video I did. Uh, you have the file path to your particular pictures. Um, make sure your pictures are numbered one through whatever. And if you follow this code here that I covered in the last video, um, this will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It'll change that right there, and it'll do it every two seconds. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to actually bump this on up to about, let's say, ten seconds. Um, I discussed that in the last video. It will change from one up to 12 every 10 seconds. So go back and have a look at the previous video there. And I'm doing that for a reason. That way when we go back and look, um, we can adjust these values here. Also what I have is an extract. I just call, it's a list global variable called ext. I've also discussed this in other videos. Um, basically the way that's created is call it whatever you want, make it a list global and put in all your various extracts. Vibrant, devibrant, vibrant, muted, um, D muted and L muted if you look at all of those right there okay and let me change that back now because once you click OK it does take away the value of that variable alpha is another list global um, I created a list for this that way I can change it um, within my home screen um, the alpha I have it going from if I just tap on it I have it going from 0 to 100 make sure you use a comma to separate all those okay with all that said um, let me save this and go back to the home screen now. These should last a little bit longer. Notice how the alpha is changing the uh, alpha value of that particular piece down here. So notice how I make it like, uh, you know, this is non-transparent and then the alpha down here is making it uh, a little bit uh, more transparent. And we can also change the extract. Um, is that going to change anything here? I'm going to use my finger. I'm just touching this. Okay, see how it does change the color based on whatever picture? How about this one? If I start touching uh, this D muted, L muted, see how it's changing these extract colors? Um, some of them may not change as much because of whatever picture showing. Let's try this one. L vibrant, there's muted, pulling the red out. D muted. As you can see, it does change these. And uh, sorry about it going to this screen. I'm just using my tablet at the same time. So how do I do all this? That's what we're going to go ahead and cover right now. Once you have your global set up, I'm um, going back and okay the square is just the image I've showed you all that in a previous video that's nothing new um, the rectangle I have down here that's this guy so there's that rectangle let's go to paint and look how look at how I have this coded um, I'm doing an alpha so I have to do the CE um, I'm extracting GV extract that's going to be the L vibrant D vibrant muted etc and it's pulling it from GV images, which I showed you a moment ago, comma alpha, comma GV alpha. Remember how we created those global variables? So we're using all three of them in here because we need to determine which extract we want, uh, where we get the image from, which is that global variable I created, and what alpha value do we want to apply to that color. <clears throat> so with that said, that's all I did inside of that rectangle. Of course, you can apply this to whatever shape you want. And then also, just for uh, demonstration purposes, but actually you can even put this inside of your wallpaper to change your colors quickly without coming back into KOWP. Um, text item. And that's this one that says current extract. And so I have current extract, and I have it set to GV um, EXT. That, that, therefore, it'll say vibrant, D-vibrant, L-vibrant, etc. Um, based on how we or based on whatever value that global variable is and that is a list global variable and then whenever I touch this thing so if I go over to touch I'm going to use my finger a little bit go over to touch and notice I am toggling that switch um, so I'm toggling that list global and I'm just going to the next value so basically you could set it to do a certain thing but I want it to go to the next value that way it'll go through these things you could do a previous and I'm going to show you next and previous right here in a moment 
with the alpha. So that's how I have that one set up. And then if we go back to the overlap group. So I have this alpha thing inside of an overlap group just so that I could put my two little buttons. Um, this one here is uh, this guy right here. Of course, you can't tell that because I have it a little bit of padding applied to it. But basically, um, the text item alpha and it says 50 was well, alpha and it's GV alpha. That way it's going to pick up that alpha value showing you wherever the alpha is. Remember when alpha is at 100 it's going to be completely non-transparent. When it's at zero it's going to be uh, completely clear. So anywhere between zero and 100 the transparency will be adjusted. So there we have that. And then I apply, I didn't apply a touch to this, I applied a touch to um, the two arrows. So this arrow here, when I touch it, I want it to toggle that global switch alpha and I want it to go to the previous value. So it's going to go 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and then it'll go back to 100. It'll cycle back through it. I used to use the text global variable for that until I got into the list global and it's it's quite a bit easier. Much less coding. I mean it's going to go to the previous value and whenever it goes to zero it's going to when it goes to previous value once it hits zero it will go back to 100 and I'll show you that in a moment as well. Um, what else? Uh, the right arrow. So the bold right. This one right here when we touch it we're toggling the same global switch but we're going to go to the next value. So therefore when I touch this arrow here what it's going to do is if it's at zero it's going to go to 10 then 20 then 30 etc and when it goes to 100 the next value will go back to zero. But that's quickly how I did everything, how I coded everything. I don't think I missed anything. And to um, add a little bit more to this, let me do this real quick. Let me add um, some text. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And let me move this to the bottom. And I want to put this behind this guy right here. So right now it's in front of it, but once I come in here and do some layer changing. Uh, I need to put it behind the rectangle, so right there. See how it did kind of throw the time behind it a little bit? And now, if I save this, go back to the home screen, let's we'll see what happens. Okay, so we can change our extract. Devibrant. I'm going to use my finger a little bit to touch this. Um, and as you can see, the time is still staying behind it. But if I start adjusting this alpha up to 100, Notice the time's completely hidden because alpha is at 100. Now if I tap this uh, right here again, it goes to zero. Now you can't see any color down here because the alpha is zero, alpha is 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. Um, if I touch this one over here, it'll go backwards. Again, if I touch this up here, it will change the extract. It'll pull the muted depending on whatever the image is. See how it's changing? Now it's D muted, there's L muted, um, whatever you want uh, to pull from these things. But I notice it does change as the slideshow changes. So there you have it. That's how you can extract colors from a slideshow and apply them to your custom live wallpaper. And you can also change those extracted colors and change the alpha of that color um, from right inside of your home screen without going back into the advanced editor. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.